My name is Alexander Mendoza and I'm a professional soccer freestyler. Anything that's cool looking with the soccer ball, it's freestyle. Juggling the ball, balancing the ball, uh, creating new tricks, um, just a cool art form of soccer, the tricks wise and everything, just something cool. I've been playing soccer all my life. It's a big part of my family. My brother is the one that got me into freestyle more than soccer because he's the one that was able to juggle the ball, the ball more than anybody else I know. And uh, he actually motivated me to like, wanted to learn. And uh, I chose freestyle because it was more independent. I, I like to do things on my own way. I think freestyle would just fit in perfectly because it was just basically nobody telling me what to do. In high school, I was in the team in East LA Garfield. Everybody used to tell me like, why you ball hog the ball? Why you do this? You're showing too many tricks. You miss, you're, you're doing this and that. And I'm just like, just let me do it. Like they all told me that it's not gonna happen. There's nothing you could do with freestyle. And I said, I'm gonna do it. And I've been doing it ever since. It's getting bigger. We have a good amount of people that practice an art form of like ground moves, which is cool things around the ball and the floor. Freestyle, well, you saw dribbling the ball, balancing the ball. So the street movement, I would say, is more like for the young people that like soccer and they like fashion, they like cool looking stuff that are related to soccer. And the end of the day, all you really need is the ball. So we take the ball, use it, play 3v3, play Pana, play um, freestyle, play anything you is, and that's the street movement. I really just fell in love with the hobby of getting the ball and going out there doing it at any moment. And I think it just became like a hobby and then I got contacted by on YouTube to do to join a team. And then I was traveling the world. I still travel the world doing events all around United. I've been to almost every state there is in the United States performing with the ball. As soon as I knew that I could like potentially travel, make some money, I said, you know what, what's stopping me of keep doing this? Like I want to do it as long as I can, why not? In 2012, we had a competition that we organized. And uh, that was the first United States freestyle soccer competition there was. And then we, we made that happen in Venice Beach. Some of the guys are local here in freestyle. And um, in 2013, we made it official approved by the Federation of Freestyle Soccer. We were holding it uh, for two years in LA. They moved to Chicago, we competed there. And uh, so I've been three-time USA freestyle champion. Some of the guys practice a lot. I would say daily, every single day, two or three hours a day. That's not really easy. Like you would say, oh yeah, it's cool. It's just like, an, like a circus kind of thing, but it, it's a profession. It's an own sport now. And so if people actually looked at it as a professional way and it is getting bigger and bigger, you look at Sean Garnier has like almost 2.3 million followers. It's, it's crazy. People are making so much good stuff with, with freestyle. So I hope it gets bigger to maybe Olympics, maybe a skateboarding, I don't know. We have a great amount of freestylers here in Los Angeles. Well, our goal is to grow, grow the scene, grow the sport, grow soccer in general in the United States. We could potentially get soccer to where other countries are at now. It's just huge and we potentially United States can make the World Cup next time. <laughs>